I actually really do love Games Workshop. What I don't love about Games Workshop is these. Now, find out how I turn this into this. It's another basics entry in the series. Hi guys and welcome back to another Forge of Solace Paints. This time, you probably guess what I'm going to talk about. The paint pots. What can you do about them? Turn them into these. Let's find out how. Head over to the desk. Hi guys and here we are back again. So I thought we'd take a quick look at the difference here. So this is a Citadel paint pot, a Vallejo dropper bottle, and the dropper bottle that I decant my Citadel paints into. It's just the right size. I'll leave a link in the description on where to get these. They're super cheap. But yeah, as you can see, it makes a difference. Okay, so what are you gonna need? Some bottles, some tops of the bottles, they come with them. I use some airbrush thinner to thin them down, some ball bearings as agitators, and a little funnel to get the paint into the new pot. Now, this is a brand new paint, I've not opened it. It's Corax White, which is known to be fairly thick and gloopy anyway. So let's just crack it open and have a quick look and see what we're dealing with. Yep, definitely way too gloopy. We're gonna have to shake this really, really thoroughly. Look at all the buildup in there. This is typical of some paints, regardless of brand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of airbrush thinner in there. That'll just break it down a little bit. It helps it flow much nicer. Um, not something you have to do, purely optional step, but I'd highly recommend it. Close it back up and then we're gonna shake it vigorously. Or in my case, I'm gonna put on a paint agitator and I'm gonna agitate it for a while. And this generally does the trick. These are such cool gadgets. Pretty expensive though, Don't not needed. Right, open it up, there we go. Look how thin that is. Still a little bit of gloopiness around, but more than good enough. So the next thing I'm gonna do is Cut the two little tabs at the back of the paint pot. Now be careful now because basically you've taken the lid so that it's completely separate to the body of the pot. Again, not needed. I just find it makes it a little bit easier for me to pour into the pot. Right, so new pot, drop a bottle, funnel in the top of it. You can stick it down if you need to, just be careful. Pop open that lid. Again, remember these are separate now, so be very careful, don't get paint everywhere. And we're just simply just gonna pour it in. Now, don't pour too much at once because obviously it's still quite viscous and you don't want to overflow with the tiny little cute funnel. So, a little bit of time, light work its way down the funnel. And we're just going to do this basically until the pot's empty. It is not rocket science at this point. So, get an old brush and once you've poured everything in, just use this to work out all the rest of the paint that's in there. You're never going to get 100% of it, there is going to be some wastage, but you know, get as much as you can out. Just work it out to the edge of the pot and then drop it in the funnel. Wipe your brush on the edge of the funnel. Again, stabilize the bottom of the dropper bottle so you're not getting paint everywhere or, you know, blue tack it down or whatever you need to do. Just, just be careful. You don't want to make a mess. And that's pretty much it. It is as simple as that. As you can see, we've got most of it out of the bottle. Next up, I'm just going to grab one of my ball bearings. I think these are army painted ones and drop it into the bottle. Makes it a little bit easier to agitate it going forward. Now, again, another part that you don't need to do, I peel the label off of the Citadel pot, just using the edge of my blade, unpeel it and wrap it around my dropper bottle and it just makes it a little bit nicer. Um, and I know what color it is, obviously. And there we have it, guys. That's it done. Much easier to agitate. It's a little bit thinner because of the floor improver we put in there, or the thinner, and you're good to go. Happy times. Goodbye, Citadel pots. Hello, stress-free painting. Okay guys, there you are. This is another entry into the basic series. So I know a lot of people are already doing this, but I thought it was worth covering. I've had a couple of people ask how I get my Citadel paints into these little dropper bottles. Personally, I find these so much more usable than these paint pots. I absolutely hate these. Um, there's nothing good that I have to say about them. It seems to polarize the community. So whatever, each to their own. For me, it's dropper bottles all the way. I love my Vallejo paints, but I also love the GW paints. There's a lot of colors that I really don't want to live without, but you know, these, I'm quite happy to see the back of them. Anyway, has this been useful to you? Did you get some value from it? If you did, give me a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. 
As always, if you're not already, please subscribe. Thank you to those new people that have. I really appreciate it. After all, what I want to do is make high quality content and give something back to the community that's given me so much. If you didn't know, every other week I co-host a podcast. At, you can find more about that over at thedroppod.info. Well, that's all there is this week, guys. Remember, if you're going to do crack, make sure it's plastic. See ya.